Hi, I'm Evan and uh, welcome to my fish room. So we got a new fish in the fish room this uh, week. Uh, Mary Widow Live Bearer. Interesting little micro fish that uh, I just heard about this week. Uh, luckily enough I was able to get my hands on two trios. And uh, let's take you over to the tank. So this is the Mary Widow Live Bearer. Little micro fish. I uh, can be go. I can go with other rasboras, small tetras. They're a little. They're a little frisky because I just threw some food in the water. They can eat flake and small pellets. Pretty much. Pretty much any commercially available fish food meant for a uh, omnivore. They like to graze on algae too. The males reach about a one and one quarter inches whereas the females will grow twice that size to, to two and a half inches actually somewhere in this tank is a very pregnant very large two and a half inch female but uh, she doesn't poke her head out much not as venturous as her little buddies one way in the back there <clears throat> so these are actually really neat because you can go with other live bears so you could have a colony of these merry widows and a colony of these guppies in the same tank and they won't interbreed because the gondoponium is a aren't compatible in fact these won't breed with most any other live bears They're found in uh, South America, in the Atlantic region, or Atlantic side of South America. From uh, Guatemala in the north to Panama in the south. They like slow moving creeks and ponds. Oh yeah. Sorry about my poor photography scales. Of course I could have cleaned the glass first too. Getting a lot of glare off uh, off these pipes here. This is actually something else I've been doing in the fish room is uh, getting my lids in order because you know I could feed them easily without taking the whole thing, and this was all kind of one piece, so it was, it was annoying. And I got these. Uh, these are actually uh, King of DUI overflow design. Only difference is I put a T fitting in and I wedged in a chunk of foam and I put this valve. So these are all primed and at any time I want to drain the water down to that amount to do a water change, all I have to do is flip this valve and the water will flow into my drainage. That then goes all the way around the fish room back to where the, the washing machine was. I also have it set up for this tank too. So it's on the to-do list. I want to paint these black eventually. Maybe alter to this design. See if I can make it a smaller unit. Or at least a 90 down here or something. But yeah, that's uh... Yeah, these would also go good with uh, small quarry cats. Like maybe uh a pygmy quarry or a salt and pepper quarry. And also with uh, placos. Bristle nose placos would be just fine with these guys. Those bristle nose, they can go with pretty much anything. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me I'm a terrible uh, on air personality. Eh, it don't matter. Engagement is good to the YouTube God, so if you want to stay tuned to what I'm going to do with this 55 with all the glare on it in the back and the stand, so I'm going to, that's probably going to be my next project. Uh, please subscribe to stay up to date, and I'll be an ongoing, probably eh, a couple week project. 
I also am going to put out a little video about Odessa barbs in the near future. Um, awesome barb. Very underrated. But uh, we'll go more into that there. And yeah, really, only other thing I'm really going to be up to is uh, rearranging the old fish self shelf. I'm going to be getting rid of that fish shelf here soon. Uh, I got one, two, I got four functioning aquariums on it at the moment. Three tens and one twenty. I think I'm going to move some stuff around. I got my workbench here, the old 90 gallon stand. I'll use that and I'll get all the all the tanks off that shelf. Tear it apart and start rebuilding the next rack. Uh, the next rack I'm going to build <clears throat> I'm really conflicted on I definitely want four tanks of tens for quarantine but I also the two tanks I got are so nicely planted I got nice little colonies of guppies in there I really like to see them easier so I don't know I might move all the guppies out of there and uh, maybe move uh, my Mary widows into one of them I think they do better in a smaller tank right now that they're in the the 100 gallon divided, so about 15 gallons. It's a very tall tank. And these are very small fish. So we'll get them. This will be a little more appropriate, I think. Yeah, you'll definitely want to see what I do with this 50. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with this 50 yet. <laughs> um, I was thinking of moving my blue Moscow colony into it, which then frees up a 20 gallon. And then I still have plans for the 20 gallon behind me. That might actually be getting moved to the living room. And the living room mutt guppy tank, which nobody's ever seen on this channel, is going to come down and replace it. So when I move this tank to the living room, it's going to become a beta, a beta tank. Beta, some quarries, um, maybe some rasboras or... Uh, Tetras that won't bother them. Neons. My girlfriend really likes the Cardinals, so probably go with Cardinals. 90 gallons humming along. I'll clean out the clean out the fish room, and uh, I got two more stands. I got the heater. To, I'm gonna mount it above the sink. It's got a fan in it. I got a uh, ink inkbird. Yeah, inkbird controller, so it's gonna control the the little electric heater. I'm going to wall this little section of my paradise in. I am... It's just time. Time and money. Mostly time. And money. Time and money. Anyway, this is... Uh, so, you know, if you guys are going to be having toilet paper riots... Keep it down. I'll be in my fish room. Um, I have no toilet paper to loot. I repeat, no toilet paper is worth it to loot from this house.